Hello everyone, my name is Greva Khurat and welcome to our new episode of Surfing the Elliot Ways where I will look at some of the most interesting developments in time tracking for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at Cable, Asia and also a quick look at Copper, DAX, S&P 500 and Silver. Now firstly let's take a look on Cable. Now um, Cable interestingly came sharply to the upside uh, more importantly, uh, we are here, as you can see, still trading about this multi-year trend line, which could actually become a very nice support. Um, so for now, I think that we should stick to bullish view, especially because drop on a daily chart, as you can see, was clearly made by three waves. More importantly, the re recent reversal came from the lower side of this channel, which usually represents the end of a corrective. Uh, price action, especially when you have such a sharp recovery above the upper trend line of the same channel. So, in my opinion, there is room for more upside, of course, after pullbacks. Now, when looking at the four hour chart here, it looks like that we are already seeing the first lag of this ongoing corrective intraday retracement. Ideally, this will be a way for now the first support in such case would be the starting point of the wave 4 of the same degree. I'm looking at the black wave 4 cycle and then you have the termination point of this uh, same uh, same cycle. So let's say that 1.3520 uh, to 136 that's the ideal super zone for a new bounce. Of course, if we will see a free wave substructure within this wave 4 because even if I'm tracking correction and I'm expecting a limited weakness, well, we still need to see free subways within this wave 4, okay, because wave 4 is a corrective flag and not only just one sharp drop from the highs, that's not the corrective structure we want to see in this wave 4. So for now, we have to be patient and just be aware of potential more weakness after this short and short term rally here. Now, let's take a look also on, um, on Aussie. Now, Aussie is uh, still looking at the monthly chart here on the right. We are trapped in a complex correction, in my opinion, uh, or I should say rather a deeper correction, meaning there can be more weakness coming. I'm also looking at a potential very big head and shoulders pattern here with the retest of these lower, uh, lower levels here around uh, 0 0.6660 area. Okay, so for now there is room for more weakness and more importantly on the four hour chart, notice that the rise from December lows to recent highs was only in three waves. Okay, uh, it was a very overlapping price action, definitely not an impulsive one. So always when I see from a new low only a three wave rise and not a sharp recovery in five waves, well, it means that higher degree downtrend is still in play. So when looking at the daily charts here, in my opinion, maybe this is even end of a wave B and we will see more weakness back to a new low, or maybe this was a wave B rally of a complex ABC X ABC pattern. So in either case, I think that we should be aware of more weakness. Notice that if you look closely, you can count five subways down from the recent swing highs, okay? After all, um, we came here uh, to the downside for, uh, first at the start of the year, as soon on January 3rd, I believe. We continued to weaken after uh, opening into a new year and then reversed higher, cleared some stops and now again we are turning bearish. So in my opinion, there is a great chance that we will see actually this broken trend line that will cause then more weakness here. Now, if we see any rally, the first resistance that we should pay attention on is at 72.30 area, okay? Um, also, um, copper, I think it's very important. Uh, notice that uh, there is a strong correlation, uh, obviously, with, uh, with Aussie, not a really tick by tick uh, tight correlation, but still, uh, if you are seeing uh, copper reversing uh, sharply to the upside, to the downside, like we have seen last week, which looks like a, at least temporary top. Well, this means that Aussie will have very hard time to attract any buyers. So, in my opinion, there is a chance for more weakness here on copper, which equals to more weakness on Aussie. You also have at the same time still this uh, risk off mode in play. We are seeing U.S. stock indices futures right now uh, coming and approaching these January lows. 
we are the DEX is already there. So in my opinion, this could all trigger more as a weakness, or on the other hand, I should make a better say more dollar strength because after all, US yields are also still rising. Now, um, if we also take a look now, as I mentioned, DAX is retesting the lows. Um, here is the four hour chart. Notice that I've been anticipating this uh, free wave drop minimum. Um, and so far we are for, uh, nicely progressing lower into wave C. Now the equality level comes uh, around uh, 15,530. So that's the first area we should be aware of potential recovery or bounce, especially if we consider that on a uh, daily chart, this could also be a triangle, meaning that weakness could be limited, okay? However, for now, bears are still here. There's room for more weakness, so I will not call any bullish uh, outlooks here unless we see, let's say, a five-way price from that support, okay? Also, uh, S&P 500, um, this one is also, uh, is also currently weakening. And I've been anticipating this reversal from the start of the year based on two different interpretations. Let me show this one real quick. So the first one I was actually calling here a flat or a running triangle for a way forward, which is still very valid and possible, or very aggressive outlook shows a completion of these five waves up for an ending diagonal of wave three, and you are now stepping into wave four pullback. So here, pullback can be much deeper. Both, both wave counts are still valid, so it's very important to be aware of more weaknesses, at least in the short term, because both suggest that, that we are not um, ready to to go to move back towards the highs yet. So here, what I'm looking at, well, notice a very minor five wave drop here for new highs, all time highs, followed by three waves up, and now again, this looks quite aggressive and impulsive. So I think can be a third lack of decline. Maybe if this is really going to be a, uh, a way for triangle, then the supports uh, that we should watch and expect a reversal from is 45.30 and between 45.80. So that's the area where we want to see price stabilization. So if this happens, of course, dollar could uh, dollar gains would again slow down a little bit. If we will smash these support levels through and then rather making a flat correction here, deeper wave C for wave four, then of course dollar will rally much more. Um, now let's take a look on the final market, which is going to be silver. Now um, silver, longer term charts, strong reversal from 2020 lows, breaking here then above 2016 swing highs, meaning that this is probably a change in trend and now you are now only consolidating. Important support is around $20 um, here. So it looks like that we are, we could be retesting these levels before this market will again turn to the upside for a third lack of recovery. We're looking at uh, the substructures of this wave B, maybe even wave two. I am observing a flat correction here. Okay, it's a 3-3-5 pattern and notice that this five waves down is coming also lower with an overlapping price action. So despite bearish prices, I do not see any aggressive weakness here. Okay, so it can be support very near. Uh, however, based on the substructure of an ending diagonals and rules, well, there's still room for more downside here to complete this fifth wave, potentially at the lower side of this um, of this pattern. Keep in mind that each leg in ending diagonal should be substructured by three waves. So that's what I'm looking and expecting here within this fifth wave. Expecting another drop down uh, after this completed wave B, which could either be a triangle here and then you will see weakness after ABCD sub waves, or maybe this will be a higher pullback for for wave B in three waves towards 23.70. So in either case, I think that silver could be very interesting from a long-term perspective um, where you don't have to try to pick up the bottoms, but for the short-term perspective, I think that uh, we could actually see a retest of this December 2022 loss before market maybe turns higher later this year. Traders, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video and again, talk to you soon. Bye.